Hi, and welcome to Learn DaVinci Resolve. Today, we're going to show you how to optimize your footage for a smoother playback. So stay right there. What we're going to talk about today is getting smoother playback when you're working in Resolve. So here's two clips. They're from a Mavic 2 Pro. They're 10-bit video at D-Log at uh, 100 megabits and H.265. So about the worst possible thing I could put on, well, I'm sure there's worse, but pretty bad footage to be putting on a 2013 MacBook Pro, which is what this is. There's no eGPU, so this is straight up uh, a stock MacBook Pro 13-inch. So pretty bad video card. And if we go to this first clip here, you'll see it's running back really nice and smooth. This is because I've used optimized footage. If I take a look at the second clip, what you'll see is it's super chunky. If we look at the uh, playback frame rate, I'm lucky to get 12 frames per second instead of 30. I mean, uh, 23.976. So I'm only getting half of this playback right now. So how do we fix this? Well, first I'm going to go down to my project settings and I'm going to look at my optimized media format and my render cache settings. So I'm going to set my optimized media resolution to quarter size and my media format to 422 proxy. Now it's not going to be as good of quality as running full, you know, ProRes quality and everything, but it's going to be a very lightweight file that I can easily play back on my machine. So I want to make sure I have that setting there and uh, make sure you click save. And then in your media pool here, I'm going to select this file, which is 006. Right click on it and select generate optimized media. Well, now what it's going to do is it's going to transcode from the H.265 down to ProRes proxy. Now, that's not a permanent thing for uh, the final rendering. It's just so that we can edit the footage smoother within Resolve without having to, you know, do transcoding outside of it or just deal with chunky playback. So once this finishes, we'll be able to get nice, smooth, clean footage. It's going to look pretty good because Proxy, uh, ProRes Proxy is still a pretty good codec. And for the sake of editing, it's going to do just fine. So we just have a few more seconds here to wait for it to finish. Now I'm just doing this in real time. Again, MacBook Pro 13 inch 2016, really bad video card. So you can see exactly the type of experience you're going to get. So a couple more seconds left. Okay, that's done. We're going to go up to the playback menu and make sure that use optimized media if available is checked. Now the second one down here, proxy mode, you can leave this off. This isn't going to affect the, the optimized media. That's a whole different topic that we'll discuss some other time. But right now we just want use optimized media if available. So now I'm going to go to the beginning of this clip and boom, instantly 23.976 frames per second. And this is going to be nice, smooth playback all the way through, making it very, very easy to edit this footage. So that's all there is to it. Make sure you use the optimized media and check your settings and then under playback, use optimized media. This will make a huge difference in your editing performance if you don't have a really high-end computer to be running Resolve on. So quick little tip for you today. Thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe and check that bell icon to be notified whenever we put out new videos. This has been Kerry with Learn DaVinci Resolve, and I will talk to you all later.